read about these things in a newspaper. What's so, so fascinating about old coins, anyway? Well, not much to me, but maybe to a collector. Yeah. This was given to me by an old acquaintance of mine, uh, Weldon Gray. Have you ever heard of him? He's a rare coin dealer, right? He just bought five of the rarest coins in the world at an auction in London for $800,000. <sighs> Oh, that's a little out of my price range. He's given me an exclusive to come over and photograph the coins. I thought we might make a feature story of it. And you want me to cover it? That's the general idea. Get over there. One way or another, I've been fascinated with coins since I was a small boy. These don't mean much to you, do they, Mr. Parker? Anytime somebody spends close to a million dollars for a handful of change, I'm impressed. Well, it's not just the dollar value here. There's excitement, mystery, romance. If I was wealthy enough, I would never sell any of these coins. I'd keep them all for myself. Most collectors get caught up like that, I guess. Well, it's not just the collecting. I fall in love with each coin. With some men, it's painting. With other men, it's money. Of course, with others, it's beautiful women. I certainly don't discount beautiful women. That's my wife. My ex-wife, unfortunately. Yes, well, maybe you could give me a little of the history of these coins. Of course. This one here was minted in 1913. It's one of only four that were produced in error by the U.S. Mint. The other three were just... What's the matter? Nothing. I thought I heard it. A... Locked that door myself, and I'm the only one who has a key. Don't move. Now turn your back. Don't look around if you want to stay alive. I get the safe. It was broad daylight. You had to see something. Just before I was hit, I saw that wall over there. You can check that out. Peter, how about you? I saw the same wall and then a terrific view of the floor. Look, if I had any information about the theft of $800,000 worth of coins, don't you think I'd tell you? Are you insured? What's that got to do with anything? Probably nothing. You saw a hand and a gun. You heard a voice. And then the voice was muffled. This is supposed to be an ordinary rob. Why would an ordinary thief disguise his voice? Or hers? Afraid, maybe, that they might be recognized? Uh, hi, Lieutenant. Room for one more in here? Yeah, let her in. How did you beat me here? News of the robbery just came over the ticker. Yeah. You're Julie Masters. I remember you. You covered a coin show that I lectured at once. Mr. Parker was here when the robbery occurred. They knocked him out. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Yes, I am. I just uh, shouldn't nod my head. It might fall off. Oh, well, don't let that happen. You may need it again. Okay, Julie, go ahead and take your pictures. I uh, have an investigation to conduct. Right. Did you get anything with your camera? Nothing that I think you can use. I may have gotten one picture of the gun in the hand. I want it. I want all the pictures you took. Something might show up. All right, I'll process the film and get you some prints. I'll be at the paper to pick them up. Five rare coins were stolen. How would a thief dispose of the coins? Any collector would buy them. That's a big help. Okay, Pete, get on those prints. I haven't got much else to go with. Come here. I'll have them for you in one hour. Everything on the desk. How you doing? Maybe too well. Come again? I won't be sure until I run off prints, but the negative show I took a picture I never took. You know you're not making much sense. Yeah, well, neither does this extra frame of film. It appears to be a picture of a lady holding a gun. Hey, maybe that door was open a little extra, and you got a picture of the lady who was about to belt you into dreamland. No, I would have seen her. And I don't get it. What does she look like? I won't know that until I have a print of the picture. 
future. Well, it'll, it'll be good news for the gendarmes. The lieutenant is in with Jameson. And one of his troops is waiting outside the door here to pick up your evidence. Don't tell them about the extra frame of film. Peter, you're going to hold out on the cops and not tell them about it? I am not satisfied with how this picture got on my roll of film. Yeah, but you're sticking your neck out for a lady you don't know. You don't even know what she looks like. No, it's not the lady, and it's not me personally. Somebody is trying to use my job as a newsman to pull a fast one. How? I don't know. I and I don't want you to know what I'm going to do. I, I just don't want you involved in this. Okay, but you're asking for trouble, Peter. Being in trouble all by yourself is a lonely place to be. How's Flash doing? Coming along. Coming along. What gives? He's still in there. I guess it's taking him longer than he figured. Parker! What's taking you so long? He's in there. He couldn't get out without me seeing him. Okay, Peter, you better get your act together. We're coming in. He couldn't get out. While you were awake. I went to the water cooler, but I kept my eye on the door. Sure. Whatever game Pete's playing, I set the rules and he's broken them. He cut out of here, taking his film with him. That film is evidence in a felony. I hope the prison newspaper can use a good photographer. Not exactly flattering. As it happens, it is not me. So I guess I shouldn't complain. Are you sure? Would you know the difference if somebody faked a picture of you? Yes, I suppose I would, but... That is a very, very good likeness. It looks as though someone tried very hard to make it a good likeness, for whatever reason. I was about to have coffee. Would you join me? Where were you at 10.30 this morning? I was here. Can you prove that? I was alone. The reason I ask is because it was exactly at that time that your husband was robbed of some coins worth $800,000. Losing coins would hurt him terribly. Coins to me were simple things that nice people left me for my smiling when I served them coffee. And wish them a nice day. Please, sit down. Coins were kind of uh, happy thank yous. He treated them as though they meant more than people. I was taking pictures just before the robbery. When I developed my film, that one was the last one on the roll. I didn't take it. I don't understand. Is somebody trying to frame me? No, it certainly looks like that, doesn't it? Yes, I guess so, but... Who? Why? Are you sure this is for real? Then why aren't the cops breathing down my neck? Because I didn't give them that picture. Thanks. But you have to, don't you? Well, just let me handle that. Now, Mrs. Gray, how do you get along with your ex-husband? I still like him, but not as a husband. Does he like you? I'm just asking because I want to find out who would try to frame you. Well, we had problems in our marriage. He didn't want the divorce. We had a couple of large fights, but they blew over when he realized I wasn't going to stay on display like one of his rare coins. Okay, well, do you know anybody at all who is about your size and knows you well enough to be able to do 
duplicate your hair and your clothes and... Who hates you? 